We're in a season of radical blessings. It's more than a moment. It's a season where we're focusing on adopting a lifestyle that mirrors the conduct of Jesus when he was walking the earth. We live in a society that's focused on the individual versus a whole, individual gratification in everything. It's contrary to see someone who's doing something without getting an immediate payoff. But we serve a God who sees everyone as significant. In scripture, around John 12, it says, Jesus only says what the Father says and does what the Father does. We should be following his examples. We're co-heirs with Christ. That means walking out the Father's heart in real time, blessing people wherever we go. But what does it look like to bless someone? It means we're taking advantage of every opportunity everywhere we go. The first couple of weeks were focused on family, but it applies for work, it applies for home, on the commute, in the grocery store, at the postal office, waiting for your Amazon delivery. Taking every opportunity to speak hope to the hopeless, to lend a helping hand, to walk alongside someone who's struggling, to listen, to love without agenda, to confirm that people are valuable, not because of what they have or what their title is, but simply who they are. We're spreading light and darkness. Scripture says we're in this world and not of this world. Our heavenly DNA comes from the Father. Will you be radical? Will you choose to bless?